One last thing remaining to do is to be able to redirect the user. Once everything is uh, set and there's no errors, once the profile is created, the user should be taken to the profile page. So in order to do that, we have to go to our signup.php, the one with the uh, the one with the HTML, not the one in classes. So this signup.php, the one with the HTML, this page. So we go to this one and up here, uh, this is what happens when there's an error, but then we should put an else statement to say, if, so if the, the result is not empty, show the error. But if it's empty, it means everything actually went well. The user was saved. So in order to change, uh, to redirect the page. Now, one thing to remember about redirecting pages is that you have to redirect before the HTML uh, part. Because if I put a redirect here, it's not going to work unless, of course, I use JavaScript, but we are not using JavaScript in here. So you have to make sure that the redirect happens before any HTML. OK, so in here, there is some HTML here, but because this HTML won't be echoed if everything goes well. So it means there's no HTML by the time it gets here, because this only happens if this doesn't happen. So I can't redirect if I echo something here and then I try to redirect here, it's not going to work. So let me do header. This is how you redirect. You change the headers of uh, the, the file. Now, what are headers? A header is information that the website sends to the, to the server to describe or it's the server that sends this information to the, it's vice, vice versa anyway. The server can send this information to the browser to tell it what, uh, a lot of things like, for example, what type of content is in there, where to redirect and so on and so forth. So you create a header and then you say location so you have to type it exactly like this. This location should have a capital L. And then once you put the full column there, then you can add the page you want it to go to. So profile.php. And then just after this, you have to tell it to die. Now die is a way of telling the script to end here. So if this happens, then die because if this if this ensures that you have a clean break because if there was something happening down here after the headers are changed it will still process that data so it's good it's a good idea or good practice to put this die here so that once it's redirected it doesn't run anything after this and that's all we need to do to redirect this page to another page when everything is successful so Let's give it a test run. So let me add a new user here. I'm just going to say Mary Piri. And also what we can do, for example, uh, some users will start with small letters on their names. So we can add this to the end here. Let me go to the sign up, uh, this class, the sign up class in here. If I go to this one, and go here where I'm actually giving the these values like first name and last name, I can add a function here called UC first. Now what this one does is it gets the first letter, uh, the first letter like that of this one and makes it a capital letter. So this is exactly what we want. So let me copy and paste here. So there's also UC words. Now UC words uh, adds a capital letter to every single word in there. And also another thing, we have to make sure that uh, first name and last name do not contain spaces. So this is one more thing we can do. We can add to our evaluation here. So first name, 
if it's numeric let's add an or here so we can say if is numeric now to an if statement you can add or or you can add and like this now to be a good programmer instead of using these words you can use and like this or you can use or using the pipe now the pipe you get it by pressing the shift key on your keyboard and it's below the backspace so it's a slash on top there's a pipe so two pipes like that means or so if the value is numeric or now we want to check to see that there are no spaces in there okay so to do that there's a function called in string actually in php it's called str str like this string string and when i press enter so there are two things here there's the haystack this is where we are looking for this space or whatever word we are looking for so we are looking for it in this value so let me put the value here and then the needle is what we are looking for now we are looking for an empty space so i'll put two quotation marks and put a space like that so if it's true that it's a numeric value or it's true that there's a string okay value here is mistaken value or if it's true that there's an empty space in there then we put an error so now the problem here is that uh, this error is specific to number so instead of doing this or thing i think what we can do is just create another if statement so what i'll do is i'll cut this part here and just go down here and duplicate this like that and then i'm going to paste this one in here so if it's numeric it's going to add to the error if it's empty let's add this one as well first name can't have spaces okay let me delete this space here so i can do the same thing here copy this and add it to the last name part and then we can say last name can't have spaces okay so that's just improving our error checking so we have mary we have pv and then it's a female and then here i want to put a mary pv at yahoo.com Mary period yahoo.com so a password i will put one two three four as well one two three four and then let me sign up so here i'm supposed to see it go to the profile page so hit and if everything goes well it goes to the profile page so everything is actually working very well so if i go to my database here and click on the users table I'm going to see that now I have two records this one and that one okay so everything is going accordingly to plan though I have to edit this one you can edit these records if you want if I click edit here I want to change this one to mail so that we have so these are the records here I want to change this one to mail and I want to put some capital letters here because this error checking wasn't there in the beginning and everything else can stay as it is i'll say I'll, I'll press go and there we are so we have two records now which is very very good and we are being redirected to our profile which is very very nice so to continue here we're going to learn how users can now log into their profile all right i'll see you in the next video